Do you all love K-pop? If you do, welcome to this segment. The K-pop musicians we love. The reason why K-pop is loved all around the world. During this time, I, Sam Carter, and me will be closely examining and exploring K-pop through the musician's point of view. Oh, oh my K-pop! K-pop. Hello, yes, indeed, to Neve joining us for Oh My K-Pop. Hello, buddy. Hello, hello. I'm back again. You're back again, <laughs> man. How are you, dude? Ah, uh, good, good. Busy. I mean, I really want to say something else whenever oh. you ask me how have I <laughs> been throughout the week. I really, really, truly wish that I have something else to tell you that, yeah. you know, I've done this, I've yeah. done that. But again, yes, I was busy with work. <laughs> That's good. I mean, you've had you last week. You had a. It wasn't busy with you doing stuff, but you had a lot of things coming out last week. Right, 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 right. So we had what Im Young Un coming out. <laughs> we had Liu came out, right, and right. you were involved in both those albums. Mm-hmm. Um, that must have been good. I, I, the next day, Liu I played. Um, oh, suddenly the the name of the song slipped my mind. Is it Angels Being or Everlasting Love? Ever the Korean title. What's the Korean title? Chalalan. <laughs> Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Did you forget it as well? <laughs> just <after? laughs> oh. ah, 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 ah. Everlasting love. Let's go with that. <laughs> so good, man. Mm. They came out really, really well, dude. Thank so you, thank you. You had a great week. Yes. Um, I, I actually wanted to kick off with a few um, greeting messages. Firstly, oh, Courtney Lee, actually, from the UK, says, Morning from the UK. Not a song suggestion, but a hello. Hope you're doing well. I'm excited for what you guys have in store. Mm. Nice, Courtney. Uh, also, Anna from Mexico says, Hola, Sam and Neve. How are you? Hope you're doing great. Just wanted to say thank you for the great show. I'm learning a lot about K-pop and getting to know new artists and new songs every week. Thanks to you. Mm, oh, thank you. That feels good, man. Thank you. That That's feels really awesome. good. Um, so, yeah, you've been really busy working with some amazing artists uh, mm. last week. Mm. Um, you know, obviously, you've worked with like big, big names. Just listing off, if you list them, Neve's worked with some amazing people. Is there anyone that you haven't worked with yet that you'd like to do something uh, with? There are many. Mm. There are many. Uh, bucket list. What's your bucket list? Uh, too many, actually. Mm. Well, I mean, Yimun Se Sonsengye, maybe. Yimun Se Sonsengye would be yeah. amazing. Yeah, I'd love to work for him. That'd be, that'd be <laughs> crazy. Have you ever worked for like a, a Sonsengye? Like style, like person. Uh let me think. Because that, that that's probably a different chemistry that you'll have. Yeah, with, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been pitching songs mm. to something in. Oh right, 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 right. Yeah, right. but haven't worked out so far. But oh. I hope one day. That'd be cool. You know, yeah, That'd I can work with him. That'd be amazing. Um, something in. So it's like that means translates as teacher listeners. So someone who's like. Like decades in in the music business, we'd call them like a something like mm. a teacher. Mm-hmm. Um, good stuff. Well, all right, Neve, we've got a lot to get through today together. So, mm-hmm. shall we firstly introduce the segment? Yes, sir. We'll be choosing the K-pop musician of the hour. Look back on their history from their debut till now, and Sam and I will be analyzing the reason why we think they are loved through our point of view. Yes, and we also need the listeners' participation. Of course. During the middle of the segment, Sam and I will be side tracks that we like by the artist. Mm-hmm. And um, also, for today's K-pop musician, send in a song by them you want to hear. Tell us why you like this particular artist too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And lastly, you can always send in your request for the K-pop musician that you want us to closely examine. Uh, we will actively reflect your opinions. Yes, indeed. Me and uh, Neve also, we're doing a video message for one yes. very, very lucky listener. Yes, so yes, do yes, yes. Uh, keep that in mind. Um, all right, let's start, shall we, with the K-pop musician of the day. Mm-hmm. Who's it going to be today, buddy? Today's K-pop musician is Black Eyed Pilsen. Oh, mm-hmm. Black Eyed Pilsen is the producing group with Che Kyu Sung and La Do, who were born in 84, 1984, right? The first song by them, which uh, was a hit, was Hogak's Hello. Mm. I remember, oh, that was by them? Yeah, okay. I, didn't, I didn't know that. Uh, that was huge. Um, afterwards, the first title track that they uh, wrote was Sistar's Touch My Body in 2014. Uh, afterwards, they got to work with JYP through Miss A's 다른 남자 말고 yeah. now, only you. 
Uh, they wrote many hit songs for them, such as God Seven's "Diga h a m i n If you do, mm. uh, other hit tracks they have wrote are A Pink's "Il d o p s a I'm so sick. Uh, Il d o p s a Love that song. c h o n g h a s b e s o e u s i Gotta go. Love that. You guys all know, right? Uh, Twice is fancy. h a n b u Won Jung d e s debut track "Don't mm. Touch Me" and more in 2020. They produced their first girl group, Stacy, which was. a huge nice. hit. Uh, today we will be diving into Black Eyed p i l s u n g s songs. Indeed. Mm. Um, right, so when we talk about Black Eyed Peas, we've got to talk about the team name. It's inspired, of course, by the Black Eyed Peas. Uh, most people shorten Black Eyed Peas and they call them uh, Pura Peel. I did mm. not know that. Pura Peel. So <laughs> that's how we say them. Really? Um, and these two producers, they've worked together since 2009. Uh, but under this name, it was from 2014, Black Eyed Peas, right? Mm. Uh, before they got together, they each worked with the amazing Shin Za Dong Ho Ren Yi. Mm. Um, and And, uh, of course, um, those of you who don't know, EXID, you know, Shinzo mm. Dong Ho Rengi, mm-hmm, famous mm-hmm. for that. And uh, Chokyo Song with uh, um, Shinzo Dong Ho Rengi did uh, Bo Peep, Bo Peep, Roly Poly, Lovey Dovey, lots of Tiara songs, mm. basically. And then Lado, another huge name, works with Shinzo Dong Ho Rengi on um, like Beast, uh, a song called Sun Breath, A Pink's My My, Troublemaker's Troublemaker, another huge hit as well. Mm. So not just as a... As Uh, play quite piercing but apart they've been involved in lots of big songs too um, one big song we got to talk about twice is Cheer Up mm. the number one song of 2016 they produced that and they won the best producer award at uh, Mama and the Kaon Chart Music Awards officially became known as Hit Producers mm. Cheer Up Baby Cheer, Cheer Up Baby we all know this song so they're hit makers mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, more information. The title track of their second mini album, YoungLove.com, uh, which was released on February 21st, 2022. Uh, and you know, the song starts with a shuffle rhythm and synth bass. After the pre chorus, there is an un- unexpected drop, which goes well with the brass sounds. Uh, the song is about running towards love no matter what people say. American figure skating athlete Elisa Liu, aged uh, 16, who entered the Winter Olympics. performed with the song last weekend uh, oh. during the Stars on Ice Japan Tour 2022. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Me neither. That's crazy. Oh, wow. um, so, yeah, listen, so we're talking about Black Eyed Pissing uh, uh, today. Um, Neve, are you, obviously, you're aware of, the, of this producing group. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I've, I've heard a lot, you know, and, and uh, when I heard Chong Ha's uh, Yeutushi, um, <sighs> it, it was, to me, uh, The production was up to the point where whoever, pro- when I didn't know that mm. they produced a song, mm. uh, when I first heard the song, I was like, oh, this is a track by somebody who knows, yeah. who knows how to write his songs. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I really felt that. And when I heard that, it's Black Eyed p i l s i n g and I'm like, no wonder. No wonder. Yeah. I think there's something about this. I always thought with Black Eyed p i l s i n g there's something, um, especially what they w i t h Twice and all of those sorts of... I think with, they got especially famous for, for girl group songs, right? Mm-hmm. I think they have this knack of knowing... Um, the right balance between like, really cool pop music, but also what the, the Korean public will like right. at the same time. Right. There's, a, there's a specific feeling that they have in their music, which is kind of addictive, hooky, like you can't forget their songs as well. Um, so, you know, they, they are a producing group who kind of have their own color. I think mm-hmm. we can call it that. Mm-hmm. Their mm-hmm. own color mm-hmm. and style at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, absolutely amazing producers. And of course, nowadays, With Stacey, they're doing amazing things. Amazing, uh, St- amazing. Stacey is just incredible. Mm. Um, I think what we should do, now that you mentioned Stacey, that's probably the first song we should get on for you guys mm-hmm. uh, to enjoy. So let's start off with uh, Stacey's Run To You. There we go. Run to you by Stacey. We just heard, uh, listeners, you're here for today's um, Oh My K-Pop with me and Neve, of course, in the mm. studio. Mm-hmm. Today's K-Pop mm. musician is Black Eyed Pilsen, sending mm. the song by them that you want to hear and also tell us about the reason why you became their fan. Yes, please, listeners. We're doing a video message, me and Neve as well, for one lucky listener. So mm. keep that in mind mm-hmm. and uh, write in. 
your messages, make some contributions, guys. Um, right, what we're going to do is go into a little bit more detail. Um, talking about Plek Eye Piercing and uh, some of their hit songs. And there's a lot of them. So we're going to have a listen to a couple and talk about them. Let's Mm -hmm. get going. All right, all right. The first song that we're listening to right now is Touch My Body by Sistar. Uh, the title track of their second mini album Touch and Move, which was released on July 21st, 2014. Uh, it is a hip hop dance song with a melody that is easy to sing along. Uh, the saxophone sound in the beginning of the song is catchy. The exciting hook melody is a repetition of Touch My Body. 전현무, 노영철, uh, 김보성, and more appeared in the music video on July 25th, uh, 2021 at 2 39 p.m. The music video passed 100 million views yeah. on the Starship Entertainment channel, which was Sister's label at that time. It was. My goodness wow. me. Um, 2014 um, in July, this summer, only this song was played, I think, for yeah. the whole summer. Yeah. And, you know, Sister were known as the Summer Queens, right? Mm-hmm. I think this summer, this song is going to be playing again. The interesting thing, like Neve says, every summer in Korea, older songs are always played. Right. And this song is always, always played because right. it's just so bright. And what, what, do you, what, what is it about this song you think that's so special? It's so fresh, first mm. of all. And then at that time, there, are, there weren't that many songs that used the saxophone. Yeah. And, and that dramatic, um, uh, how should I say, 반전? Like sudden change, sudden changes of, of the mood, mm. like in the intro too. That was yeah. so. At, even at the time, they were trying new stuff. Yeah, like idea-wise, intuitively uh, expressing their uh, melodies, and they put that idea into the production. Yeah, uh, which is very admirable. Uh, I think that's what made uh, this song to be a You're hit right. song. It gave that, gave us that. Uh, if you listen to the song, you can hear like that wave sound. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There is something special about mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. And like blue sky, wave, surfing people. Yeah. Uh, it's perfect for summer. When you mix that with a, 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 a catchy melody, uh, it's perfect. And, uh, and lyrically, it suits Sister because obviously they had a very sexy image, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not many groups can pull off this title, Touch yeah. My Body, right? Mm-hmm. It's very sort it, of... In a very... Fresh way. Fresh way, exactly. <laughs> it, just, it just came together perfectly. Mm. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, sister, touch my body. Song number two, please, mm-hmm. sir. Mm-hmm. Song number two. <laughs> Uahage uh, by Twice. Yes. Like Ua. I'm sure, you know, everyone, probably everyone knows this song, yeah. Yeah, right? The title track from Twice's debut album, The Story Begins, which was released on October 20th, uh, 2015. It is a color pop dance song with a variety of genres such as hip hop, R&B, rock, and more. Uh, Twice pulled off this song perfectly and rose to the top as the nation's girl group. They are still receiving tons of love today. The music video passed 400 million views uh, this year on March 22nd. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, do you know what? I'm I'm thinking back to 2015 Mm -hmm. when this when Twice debuted, and I was a little bit shocked. Yeah. when I listen to this song because it does there are so many different elements mm-hmm. mixed together into one song like it kind of sounds a bit I thought at first it sounded a bit cheesy but it's also really cool at the same time mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the beat is really kind of modern uh, things like that um, what, did, what did you think about this one well, as well? I think yeah it's the perfect combination of uh, different genres like you know rock pop Hip hop. Yeah. This too. This is like R and B hip hop yeah. uh, influenced, and I think it's it's really. I can't believe this was released in 2015. Crazy. Honestly, again, yeah. I mean, it kind of opened 
more、uh, inspirational path for a lot of、yeah. producers out there,、yeah. and kind of hit their kind of like、uh, intuition bell,、uh, if, I, if I may say. You're right.、So, yeah, it's it's a very spectacular song. It is so spectacular. Yeah.、Um, so yeah. And obviously lyrically as well, they they just came up with perfect song、mm. as well.、Mm. Um, so yeah, I mean they are the representative producer for Twice. You've got to say they've written a lot of their title songs.、Um, let's get it on.、Uh, Twice is Wahage like Ua. All right, song number three is called "Kujo Annyeong Summer Nostalgia" by Sa Il O Four One Five. Uh, the title track from the seventh digital single "Kujo Annyeong," which was released on July ninth, two thousand twenty-one. Four One Five's title、uh, appeared on "Sing Again" last February as singer thirty-two.、Mm. Singer number thirty-two. The male duo made it to the fourth round and earned the nickname Male Davichi. It is a medium tempo song with fresh and sentimental band sounds. The song has an impressive arrangement as it starts with an acoustic guitar and finishes off with a grand full band. Yeah, oh, this is a top song. So, Kujo Annyeong, Summer Nostalgia. Title are are just an, you might not know about title, but、mm. just. Phenomenal voices,、mm. and、uh, I, I think that nickname is perfect. The male Tabichi as well、right. is、uh, is great. It fits them perfectly. Actually, so. listening to them, and plus, I think I think Black Eyed Peas sing has something to do with summer too. Yeah, the English title for this one is Summer Nostalgia. They like summer, don't they? Yeah, and and it's weird, but it's perfect because I can feel summer from this song.、Mm. It's pretty sentimental. <laughs> But、yeah. it's very hard to feel summer、uh, through the、yeah. song. That's that's very sentimental. You're right. But you can feel it. Maybe it's because the track is so kind of light. It's not too heavy.、Yeah. There's something about that. I don't know. It's sometimes these things are very difficult to describe why.、Mm. But the everything coming together, the synergy creates that sort of feel. Um, I think、hmm. um, it's interesting. So I think what's great about this is, you know, Black Eyed Peas not only do big girl group songs as well, but they 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 work with a variety of artists. And I think、mm-hmm. that shows, you know, that they're very flexible、mm-hmm. in the kind of music they can mm-hmm. make, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and with the band sound as well. Again, that's different, isn't it? Right, right. The, the band sound and and also the how they use synth synthesizer. Yeah, it's just. They approach in a different way, I mm, guess. Mm. I think it's just like they use synth as a marimba sometimes and、yeah. makes it into、uh, their own way, so that it gives us that some kind of like kind of、like、four season vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're very strong at using using it for for summer vibe. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, that's how I feel. They know what they're doing, man.、Mm. So I love、mm. this one as well. It's high it all. Kuja and Young Summer Nostalgia. Brilliant! So three fantastic songs produced by Plekai that Pilsing. We just listened to listeners.、Um, oh, Alicia here says Sam gets me. I thought it was cheesy at first, but I fell in love with Ua,、uh, like Ua by Twice.、Mm. That's the thing. There is something about the the melodies kind of got that vibe, but because that that mix of that sort of melody and a cool track,、oh, I just. I think it opened the door, didn't it? <laughs> it gets you addicted. <laughs> It's so、oh, you just can't get it out of your head,、right. man. Crazy.、Um, what else do we have? TK Blessing says they produce so many good songs. Yeah, yeah. Wendy, a big fan of a big fan of Summer Nostalgia that we just heard by Tidal, of course.、Um, and、uh, yeah, lots of people really enjoying them.、Mm. Leon Taylor says, "Please work with Twice Again, Black Eyed Peas."、Um, Some, it's very hard for a producer to work on every single title song, right? <laughs> it's almost impossible, surely. Yeah, it's it's hard to get even like the non-title songs、yeah. for any of the group's album.、Um, you know, that means that they're very capable、uh, in what they do. And also, maybe with Twice now, they did a lot of the songs at the start of Twice's career, right?、Mm-hmm. But as Twice got more mature, maybe. 
they wanted to try something different, mm-hmm. maybe get mm-hmm. a, getting a different type of song from somebody else. Mm-hmm. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Um, all right, guys, we are talking about Black Eyed Peas Sing today, and uh, me and Neve we chose songs to play, right? Yes. Um, I have gone for a bit of an interesting choice, mm-hmm. so I'm going to go first. Where have you chosen? So sir? I've chosen AOA Creams, mm. Chill to Nile Baby, Ooh. I'm Jelly Baby. Ooh. I've never said that sentence ever <laughs> in my whole life. I've never heard anybody say that <laughs> to me neither. Don't you to your baby? Uh, I'm jelly, baby. <laughs> Um, uh, but it suits the song perfectly. So, it does, it does. So AOA Cream were uh, this unit group of AOA. And uh, in the group, you had the likes of Yuna, Hyejung and uh, Chanmi in the group. Interestingly enough, they only did one song. Oh. I think I think that makes this more special mm. because there was only one song from them, this single, and it was produced by uh, Black Eyed Peas Sing, of course. And um, if the w- one reason why I brought it first is because you guys might not have heard it before, um, because this one was released back in 2016, um, and um, it's just typical Black Eyed Peas Sing song. Um, it's just very very catchy. Kind of the, the the melody is very hooky, a, a little bit cheesy, but I like it. And in terms of track, very cool. You've got 808s in there. Um, you've got really interesting chord progressions and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like one, I like one chord pro- chord progressions. I said <laughs> chord progressions, <laughs> stuff like that, because it means you can make a cool melody over the top of it and stuff. So mm. um, this is typical Black Eyed Peas song, which I thought you guys might enjoy. Um, so shall we listen to it, dude? Yes, sir. All right. So AOA Cream with Chutan. Now, baby, I'm Jelly Baby. I'm Jelly Baby. <laughs> There we go. Cheers to buy your baby. I'm Jelly Baby. Jelly means jealous, by the way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I mean, again, the saxophone song. Oh, I love it. You know, they're really good at making the, the wood instruments into yeah. the idle songs. I think they're really good at it. Yeah, man. Yeah. So that was AOA Cream, uh, their one and only unit group song, listeners, uh, mm. that AOA had. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that one. Oh, oh let, can we, do, we have, uh, do we have feedback? Koei Panda says, me singing, I know the song, but I forgot the title when well, I gave it to you. So there we go. <laughs> um, what else do we have here? Yeah. Anyways, lots of people seem to enjoy it, which is good. <laughs> well, today's K-pop musician is, again, Black Eyed Pilsen. Send in the song by them that you want to hear and also tell us about the reason why you became their fan, please. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And um, lots of our listeners have written in to us today. So um, I thought Nee, we'd um, have a read of some of these. Do you mm-hmm. want to start for us, please? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so. Mm. Um, okay. Emilita from Indonesia says, Hello, Sam C. and oh, Neve. Oh. Uh, I don't really know about this producer at first, but after I searched on some websites, I got interested uh, uh, with this producer. Uh, the one that surprised me is that they made a song for Beast, such as Breath, Lightless, and I'm Sorry from Light Go On Again album, uh, and You from Fiction, uh, the and Fact album uh, before they united as BEP. After they united as BEP, whoa, they made a lot of hit songs. A lot of songs they made, or uh, they became the title track. A uh, girl group that I paid attention these days, Stacy, is under the agency. No wonder I like their song so much. Uh, thank you so much, SMC and Niv. Have a great day, SMC. Please take care of your neck and get some rest. I'll be good. I'll be fine. Mm. Do you know what? I really love what they did with Stacy actually because it's a little bit different to what they did with Twice right right it's a bit more it's not dark music but it's a little bit more not so bright right with the Stacy music it has more hip hop um, yeah. R&B uh, influence music just really cool songs right. man really right. cool uh, nice, right. Benny from the Philippines says, Interesting team that you guys bring this week at Black Eyed Pearson. Here are some songs that this duo uh, made, composing, lyrics, arranging. Uh, Hogax Hello that we spoke about, G.O.D. Stand Up. Uh, Teen Top's Missing, Only You by Neil of Teen Top. Only One, both the original and R&B version by A Pink. Uh, like Ua and TT by Twice. Uh, there are more Twice songs, I think, as well, yeah. Um, these are some songs... Uh, they made in their producing career before they handled Stacy. Thanks. Have an amazing week. Um, thank you very much, Benny, for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome. 
Okay, yeah. Neve Argentina from Argentina says, Hi Sam, can I request a song Wow from the Legendary Sister? Uh, I was reading about BP and I you know, didn't know that they produced this album for Sister until now. SKP is a Duke of <laughs> uh, Thank you. That's mm, cool, that's mm, cool. Mm, mm. All right, Leon Tao from Singapore. Wow, this is a big list. <laughs> Hi, wow, Neve and Sam. Big list. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Black Eyed Piercing, one of the most iconic pair of producers in the K pop industry. They won Composer of the Year thrice at the Gallon Chart K pop Awards 2015, 16, and 19. Best Producer of the Year, the Mnet Asia Music Awards in 2016. Uh, some of my favourites Sister, Touch My Body, I Like That, and Lonely. Uh, Teen Tops Missing. Hyorin and Chuyang Irade, uh, Neil of Teen Tarps, Love Killer featuring Toki, uh, Chang Yun Sung, former Beast member, My First featuring Kitty Boy, Got Sevens If You Do, Twice, Like Ua, Cheer Up, TT, Likey, Fancy. Wow, that's five title tracks they did. Crazy. Oh, wow. um, they worked with ba- uh, Baby Lam Between Us featuring Toki as well, Chang Ah, um, ah Gotta Go, Posi or Dushi, but yeah, also. Yeah. Roller coaster. Oh, oh! Roller I didn't know coaster. that. Oh, I love that mm. song too. Um, yeah. Oh, I can I can hear that now in that song. Uh, A Pink's "I'm So Sick." Ildobsa love that song. Mm. And Ung Ung as well. Mm. Uh, Refund Sisters don't touch me. And then of course Stacy. So bad. ASAP stereotype run to you. You know what? Now li- uh, li- listening to all those uh, lists, um, I think they're really good at making like Gurgur songs, right? Crazy good, man. Yeah, That's it's amazing. F- oh, wow. They and imagine how many more they've got in their hard drive. There must be so many more hit songs. I can't imagine. I'm Ready? Sure they have like more than what, like two hundred to five hundred songs yeah. that's stored there. Quite amazing. Mm. Good. Oh, thanks, Leon. So good. Good <laughs> research. Good research. Awesome. Wendy from France says, Oh, hi, dear Sam and dear Neve. One song I love made by Black Eyed Pussing and uh, Jung Goon uh, is called Still I Love You by Toyote. Toyote, oh. right? <clears throat> Uh, when Ooh. I listen to this song, uh, I like to follow the path of the guitar. The guitar melody stays practically the same throughout the song, and it's interesting to see it evolving with the other instruments adding up plus the vocals. So this melody sounds like a letter of feelings carried away by the wind. Uh, that's why I say path of the guitar. Is it too poetic? No, not at all. Great. (laughs) I love poetic stuff. Uh, It's hard to explain, but if you listen to it, you'll get it. There's the same vibe in two other songs that BP produced. Erased by uh, Hyorin and uh, Ju Young and I'm Sorry by Teen Top. Actually, the three songs all together could build a musical story uh, with Erased first, then Still I Love You, and then I'm Sorry. Uh, When you have the time, I recommend listening to these three songs in this uh, this order. Uh, I swear it works so well. Mm. I love it. Toyota. Storyline. So mm. Toyota is this is the group with <clears throat> Yuje Zark, Haha, and uh, Imiju, right? Together. Mm. The three of them made <laughs> like a, a Toyota, but it's Toyota. <laughs> Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when I listen, uh, when I was reading it, I was like, "Wait, Koyote or Toyote?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, okay." Toyote. I love it. That was released back in December mm. of last year. Mm. Uh, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, awesome, ah, awesome. Black Eyed Pissing works on that one. Mm. Good knowledge again. Mm. Um, and also Siska from Indonesia writes mm-hmm. in. Okay, um, so happy Tuesday, Sam C and Neve. To be honest, I didn't really know about today's artist producer, so I did a bit of uh, searching. I found out they produced many famous songs like Sister, Touch My Body and Lonely, some Teen Top songs, Twice, Tabichi, A Pink, also Refund Sisters, uh, newest one for Stacey, and also uh, awards for Best Producer and Best Composer. Looking forward to listening more about them from you guys as well. Good, Siska. I mean, if you're winning the award, I mean, because in Korea, there are, some, there are so many producers, right? Mm-hmm. So many. To win the award... Like for best producer, that's an incredible achievement. I don't know what they base it on. I don't. I don't know what it is. What the judging panel's like. Well, but I think like the hit songs. It has to be <laughs> that yeah, they wrote, yeah. right? It has to be a hit, yeah. right? Yeah. I think they wrote multiple hit songs throughout the years. Yeah. So it's probably no wonder and uh, we didn't have to think about who, who they had to choose. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Mm. Crazy. All right. Last message mm. for me is hello. Uh, 
Anastasia says, Hello, Sam and Neve. Good day to you. And even though I like the color of Sam's neck support, please get well soon for you, Sam. Hmm. Next <laughs> uh, I didn't get a lot of time to research about BP, but I know that they produced lots of iconic songs, and I um, and I uh, have, didn't have the sure time. I noticed that BP goes for pretty general genre, uh, but then hit us with a different beat drop a sound on the chorus and catchy vibe. Uh, I mean, regardless of the op- uh, popularity of the artists they wrote songs for, their songs are cheerful and mm. the lyrics are uh, also suit and uh, lyrics actually suit the song and mm. uh, it's catchy as well. Um, have a great day today and the rest of the week I hope I don't write too much. Not at all. Perfect. Mm. Good stuff. By the way, one quick one. Koei Panda says they also wrote YY from, uh, for Shannon Willie Williams. Shannon Williams, the only other half British, half Korean artist that mm. I've seen. Uh, mm. She was brilliant as well. Right, right. Good, good, good. All right, thanks for those comments. Uh, Neve, you've chosen a song for us. Yes, I did. I yes. did. Well, I chose. Uh, this song is pretty famous right now. It's called A Set by Stacey. Oh, I love this song. Uh, this song got released before Run to You, right? And yeah. it's, I think, the song that made Stacey really Stacey. Yeah. Because. Um, I mean, I I think when it comes to the idol song, mm. you have to be able to imagine the choreography as yeah. well, right? Yeah. Uh, when you listen to ASAP, especially for me, I can think of the whole yeah. production. Yeah. I mean, by by meaning of like production, I mean it can be songs, but at the same time, it can be stage performance, mm. and I think those two suits. Perfectly, and uh, the color that they did for Stacy uh, shows so vividly in this song. Yeah. If that makes any sense? Yes. Yeah. I love it, and there's something so cool about Stacy as well. The way they sing, the way they sing, it's not too much energy, but it's kind of chilled, laid back, and um, I love that about Stacy as well. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. David, introduce it. Let's listen. Yes, sir. It's called A Set by Stacy. Love it ASAP from Stacey that we just heard. Right, listeners, that is it for today's uh, Oh My K-Pop. Dude, next week, do you know who we're talking about? Mm-hmm. Next week, we're going to be talking about the iconic yeah. group called Icon. Icon. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, guys, can't wait for that. Make sure you do join us. We'll see you leave next week. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. See you next week. And I'll say goodbye for now. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you're interested in more information about the show Super K-Pop, make sure you go to the official homepage, that is www.adidangradio.com and check out the Super K-Pop page.